Yes, sir, Ski. Yes, sir, Ski. What it is, what it is. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all, is having a blessed day today. Today, it's shenanigans, man. It's, it's, it's whatever. I'm going to the mall. I'm going to see what's happening, and I'm going to come back and review a shoe that I haven't went over yet, that y'all haven't seen me go over yet, so definitely whatever goes out there is whatever goes out there. The mall probably ain't going to have nothing sitting. We're going to see what's going on at the mall. It's been slim pickings, McGlickens in the mall lately, man. Nothing. That's why I've been trying to hit boutiques and stuff up, but I don't have time to do that today, so I'm going to head to the mall, hit a couple more spots like that, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to review this shoe that I have yet to get into. Anyway, as you can see, I changed my room up. I got different stuff on that side. I got different stuff on this side, so I'm liking the way it's coming together. Wifey helping me out. It's fire. You feel me? Anyway, I got an old ass Chicago Bulls game playing in the background. I hope I don't Nothing happened for me, you know, having that plan. I ain't never played that in the background. Um, but anyway, man, let's go ahead and get into this mall action. First of all, you already know, if you're a part of Rich Nation, or if you want to be a part of Rich Nation, go ahead and click the link below in the description for my official Mike Rich shop, Mike Rich merch, man. Go ahead and get you some. Link below in the description. Go ahead and get you some, man. It's fire. Also, follow me on Instagram. Uh, giveaway is still up whenever I hit 100K. Instagram, Instagram, IG, follow me. I post things a lot of times, you know, numerous amounts of times during the day, sometimes at night too. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get to the mall, man. Let's see what's happening out here in these streets. Do it. Well, I ain't even gonna lie though. I ain't even gonna lie though. <laughs> hey, that colorway crazy on the presto. Presto mid guy. I like the colorway though. Give me collab vibes, bro. Really like the colorway. They want one, want 150 for these, man. I like the colorway. I like the materials. They clean, man. Y'all know I like Presto. You know what I'm saying? Okay, these is vibes right here. I ain't copping, but they mess around going to sell. I definitely give me a pair of these. They go on sale, bro. They clean. I like that. Kind of remind me of the acronym a little bit. It's like a different colorway going. Luke, I am your father. God, they ain't pressed though. Fader guy. I like these. They, they got straight um Virgil vibes going on with this shoe. What'd that say? Crater foam. Yeah, I like the materials. I like the way the shoe look. It's different. It's a different take on the MX90. Uh, I showed different colorways in these before the women's pair, but these, these are actually hard. And 140, man. Ain't a bad price, man. These clean. I'm feeling them. Why everything got to be a pack or a collection, though? You got to have a whole collection of that same type of shoe. See, that make it not as special no more. I guess it's a whole Crater Foam collection or Terra, whatever that say. I just hate that Nike do that. Every time they come out with something, it be, it be the same. It be like they do a pack. They got the uh, purple dunks in the kids' size. I seen these in a couple of stores. I wasn't going to say nothing about it, but I might as well. Show it since everything else Slim pick and he's talking about purple dunk kids. Got some GS action in detail uh Jordan Mids and uh playoffs. GS about it. So if you cheer and want some uh J's, DTLR got some. This actually look a little big to be a GS, but I guess it is. Everybody's 97s ain't bad, great guys. Kinda clean. I don't know. I don't know what the hell they got going on with these. It's like an Air Max day release or something. Uh, I can't deal with this right here. I don't know what the hell is going on with that. Other than that, man, they, they unique. They different for sure. Keep seeing these leftover air raids with the gum bottoms sitting around there. Well, make you feel like they superior. Nah, bro, who you with? They play the Pat Troy and they got uh, OG looking vibes on the uh, Harachis. Some Wheat Air Force One action. Got Timberland vibes going on. They kind of clean. They ain't going to count, though. Some more Air Force Ones. Hoops. Don't know what that don't know what that's about, but uh got some uh undefeated type of colors going on. What y'all doing with them? Got the Grand Hill guys. Keeping the OG old school up. They got the uh Marta Rail Rail Line Transit guys in here, bro. Marta guy. Puma and Marta collab. You feel me? And they don't say that. You hear me? 
And here is some MX-97, bro. These clean, bro. Got the corduroy action. They ain't even lying. These ain't even bad with the denim. I don't know what they mean right here. But these five right here, 185. What are these? Somebody comment below if you know what these are. Is that got a diamond? Y'all let me know what these is. MX-97 clean, though. Got Foot Locker going on. All right, this is my last resort, Foot Locker. If they ain't got nothing, I'm gonna get my ass up out of here. See, this is insult to injury right here, bro. Y'all know I copped these off GOAT. I didn't know they had an official release. I thought they were limited, a quick strike. And um, I saw that they popped up on Nike, but they sold out pretty quick on Nike too, but now they got them in Foot Locker for the retail. Bo Jackson, guys, and by far, this is the best shoe in here, of course. Let me go see in my hand. Yeah, I mean, this is by far the best shoe in here. Not gonna cap. Who, who did these laces like this? Somebody try them on or something like that? Like I said, the only thing I don't like about the shoe is the canvas, just like I said about the muslin three. But other than that, man, this is a fast shoe. I really, really like the shoe. Like all the other materials, they did something different with these. But I got them at the house and I did a full review, so I ain't finna go crazy talking about them in here. Just know that they got them in Foot Locker. Cleansed, in my humble opinion. Still got some of these lows left, done showed them before. Not gonna talk about them too much. Got some mid action going on right here. I have showed this shoe on vlog before too, but if y'all like them, you know, they clean, man. I wish the red went on there. I wish they just kept them simple, black and gray, kind of how the dunks be doing their colorways. And I think that'd be a whole lot cleaner of a shoe, in my humble opinion. Got the Lakers Jordan Nothings. Lakers Jordan Nothings. And got another pair of Jordan Nothings right here, like fire red, I guess. I don't know, maroon. Jordan Nothings. Jordan 36 infrared right here. Basketball guys. Uh, casually, trash can water in my opinion, but on the court, who knows? Get down with these guys. They be doing a lot though. They be doing a whole lot with these. Straight on them. They brave championship shirt hard, boy. Got a little bit too much going on though. Like they didn't need this and that and that and that. It's more like a jersey with all this stuff. Wifey says she like these right here. And now she's talking about she might want a pair of white Air Force 1. Be always talking about how bulky they is. They is, but... I mean, I uh, really... Uh, what you gonna say? I mean, I really like these. Like, I like what they got going on. Yeah, they are pretty cool. I like them. I'm not hating on you wanting a white pair of Air Force 1. You don't, don't, you don't never dog it out if you're gonna want it later on. No, I got Air Force They so long. bulky. They so bulky. I got, I never you do have Air Force 1. You do have them. You're the one that don't have them. Don't be oh. trying to put your... Uh, but I don't have plenty of them, though. But as far as the House of Hoops section, slim pickings, McGlickens. Anyway, back to our regular schedule program. They got the uh, stompers, but they got like a little two-tone action. Got the navy on the other side and got the red on that side. What y'all thinking about them stompers? You know, I know how I feel, but let me know. Okay, DTLR. Still want these right here. But I only can get them if they go on sale, man. I can't I can't see myself paying full retail for this shoe, 175. That's a bit steep, even for retail on these, when I know they're gonna sit around and I probably catch them for under retail at some point. And even if I don't, who cares? Like because they got I got these, they got these uh undefeated kind of like those colors always go well together with the green and the orange and the black. So I really like the colorway, but not a must cop. Like them though. So like they got the uh purple guys in here too. Like I said, two stores got these. Kids, I think the biggest size is like four or five or something like that. So uh get some for your cheering or your grown folk with a little bit of ass feet. But what these is boy I guarantee if somebody like Gunner or somebody like that rock them, y'all gonna think they fight. What these is Rich Nation, Kalamazoo, or Kamuzari is whatever the hell that is. But these here crazy. They straight wildin', 180, oh, 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 okay then. These women's mids right here, kinda hard. I like the color, I like the blocking, you feel me? What y'all thinking? I'm not, not sure these too long, my wife might want to work, pal. Like, she can't have every mid, uh, shouted. My wife be loading up on these mid, boy. No search key, she ain't getting. All right, man, now I am at Walmart. Just to show you how random this vlog can get. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get home and I'm gonna, um, I'm going to review that shoe that I haven't reviewed yet. But, bruh, red flags are a mist. Number one, why you part like this? Then it's a track hawk, bruh, which y'all know is like a... How, how much track, track hawks go for? Like 80,000, 90,000? It is parked like that. It don't. It's in the handicap spot. No handicap sticker on there, guy. Nowhere. 
Um, but it looked too small to be. A, is this? Are you sure this a track hog? Wait a minute. Okay, so they it's a compass, but they make track hog compasses too. I thought that was just cheap Cherokee. Okay, anyway, but it got stolen vibes going on with it, and it also has a no smoking, so it's a rental, I guess. I don't know, stolen vibes. Uh, but I didn't know that they made compass track hogs too. I thought it was just Jeep Cherokee. Anyway, I'm at Walmart. The funny thing about certain brands is they don't go under all the way. Like FUBU is not gone, bro. And one is not gone. They just start selling it in Walmart, bro. And believe it or not, they probably make more money like this than they did when they was like at the malls and the prices were higher and stuff like that. Because a pair of FUBU slides is for $12 back in the 90s would have been like a $40 slide. Well, I ain't going to say that's not quite that much, but FUBU was more expensive. It would probably been about a $25, $30 slide. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with N1. So y'all might say trad can water and this and then the other, but they, these companies probably and brands probably making more money like this. I remember when Starter had went to Walmart champion all that junk was at Walmart now that started and champion both back at the malls um got a bunch of Yeezy boots right here Yeezy 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 boots like really like Kanye be wearing these things like he wear these more than Yeezys now bro he wear these clock busters more than Yeezys his just say Balenciaga on it and the outsole is super super fat that's the only difference to me I mean visually anyway and then your boy AB done started wearing these too. Antonio Brown wear a pair of these. Check out the Instagram. Every outfit, it's the same outfit. It's like a tracksuit. It's a pair of these, and it's one glove and a pair of like ski goggles. Go go to AB Instagram right now, and you you will know I'm not lying. Look at the suede on these thing, man. Bro, as ugly as this shoe is, man. I used it's still toes number one. I used to wear these when I first started driving trucks and I was doing food service, bro. If you know about food service, it's a hard job and you might drop some stuff on your foot, some heavy, heavy stuff. And they gotta be slip resistant because I um delivered off a, a freezer truck. Like it's freezing the back of the truck, a reefer unit. And these are the best non-slip shoes ever. You can be on an ice skating ring and you will not slide with this shoe on, man. And they was, well, they 34 now. They was $25 back when I was driving for that company, man. I had about eight pairs of these guys. <laughs> they try though. They definitely try can water, but they serve a purpose. Bro, you know why I like vlogging in Walmart? I like vlogging in Walmart because they not play no music. I do not get no copyright claim whatsoever because they don't play no music. Um, <laughs> they don't. Some tell me this brand was at like other stores at some point too, like it Champs or something like that way back in the day. I could be wrong on this one. AVL, IVL, have you say that? Memory foam action. If nowhere, they would definitely have Payless. What happened to Payless too? Did they close all the Payless? I ain't seen a Payless shoe source in like years, bro. Y'all come below if y'all got a Payless in your area. Some more and one. All right, Reebok. All right, Reebok. This is the first step, bro. You got draws in here, Reebok. This is the first step. This is how it start. Next thing you know, your shoe gonna be in there, guy. All right, Reebok. I'm, I'm just saying. Uh, you, you think it's you think it's all cute to have your little draws in Walmart, but this is the first step. Your whole line gonna be in there, guy, in a minute. And honestly, I think um, if they start having like uh, quick Reebok questions and stuff in Walmart. I'm gonna be copping still. I don't care. I, I don't care because they're probably gonna be for a lower price. I'm leaving Walmart now. That's peculiar right there. That is still quite peculiar. <laughs> anyway, back to the house. Yeah, man. So, um, like I said, Slim Pickens, uh, Walmart was Walmart. You know what I'm saying? And um, that, that, that Jeep Compass, I looked it up. I couldn't find a track called Jeep, Jeep Compass. I found a Trailhawk Jeep Compass, but I don't know. It was a lot of shenanigans going on with that situation at uh, Walmart. But anyway, for Air Max Day, I did cop, and y'all saw I did a review of the uh, Air Max Concept Collab, the heavy colorway. I traded that shoe in. I hollered my guy Retro, because he was getting some of the far out joints in. And I was like, bro, I'd rather have that one, because I seen he got a special edition with the box and all that stuff. So look forward to that shoe coming soon whenever that shoe comes in i will be sure to post that review of all the extras that it's supposed to be based off of um jimmy hendrix and got the flower power and the far out man and all that stuff going on so i can't wait to get that shoe in hand still waiting on it but speaking of that i do have 
this one that I haven't re uh, yet to review. Just a quick look at the shoe. Y'all done seen it a lot of times. I just want to give y'all my humble opinions on these guys. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. Got the flower action. I can kind of dig the wood stock flower. At first I was like, why the hell are these y'all got flowers? I don't know if I'm feeling it. But when I'm seeing where it's coming from, which most of this generation, this these days, I just dropped some. I, I dropped my plaque. What was it doing on that side? Ah, I was cleaning my computer off and um, I dropped my 100,000 sub plaque. Ugh, don't know if I'll be ever getting one of those again, man, because you gotta have like 500K to get another one, man. I got a lot to go. But anyway, off subject, man. But like I said, this generation these days don't even know who the hell Jimi Hendrix is. A lot of people, a lot of these young folks don't. Some of them, you know, pay attention to their musical history, but a lot of them don't. You feel me? But anyway, concepts, flower, power, paper, and we got these right here, the mellow guys. Why they always be that way? I think Retro put them in the box that way. Oh, what's up, Retro Rick? Shout out my guy, Retro Rick, man. Um, always looking out with the kicks. And this, what size is this thing? This is a 13, so this is not my pair. This is going back to him. But I did want to give my review and my humble opinion because I said that the heavies was my favorite pair first. Now I'm kind of backing off that. I like these a little better. Um, not better than the heavies, but I like these better than I thought I would. But I, I'm thinking that Far Out might be my favorite with those bright colors. I can't wait to see it in hand, but I think that's my favorite. But this is the mellow guy right here. The concept. Let's do a little small bow. And bow. So the Nike uh, Air Max 1 Concepts Mellow. I, I don't really think I like the black paisley. I don't really like that because the whole shoe got this kind of this maroon and green toned down vibes. This denim is a little bit light on there, but... Um, here's the purple or whatever. You got this velour looking uh, maroon kind of like going on. And um, I think the black bandana part is the only thing to throw the shoe off for me. I wish they would have went with another color for that going across the back. But other than that, it still has the like uh, cow fur or somebody told me pony hair. Whatever you want to call it, man. Somebody corrected me and said pony hair. I mean, it's fur, man. You feel me? Uh, 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 white laces. You got these, uh, like I said, these velour looking maroon looking laces as well uh concepts on the inside of the shoe got some more designage going on uh and i'm noticing i was asking about these threads hanging from the nike air on the back on the other pair on the heavy ones seemed like every pair got those threads hanging so that's actually just a part of the collab look flowers on the inside like i said i understand why they got the flowers i still would prefer to have left it out um the light denim don't bother me everything about the shoe is dope in my humble opinion except for the black Paisley bandana. I don't I don't really like the black because it don't really go against those other colors good to me. Just my opinion. Really uh Hugh Hefner robe uh suede velour action going on. Nike on the tongue with that concepts. And I really love it. I love I love corduroy on any shoe. I think ever since the Shine Witherspoon uh first came out with the uh, the Air Max 97 with the Air Max 1 bottoms, I think I just really love when they put corduroy on any sneaker. It's dope. They did that to those uh Bo Jackson's I just got not too long ago and I just love that look man. So anyway, that's these right here. Real, like the guitar pick. That makes more sense because Jimi Hendrix and stuff like that. Concepts on one side, Nike on one side. I didn't know a lot about the shoe when I first unboxed the heavy colorway. I just wanted to do the review of what I thought about it. But I learned a lot since uh, that. And I still just don't like the material. See the green right there? Because the heavy got the same material. I don't know about the far out. I ain't got it in the hand yet. But that textile looking squared, it just looks cheap to me. It's less recognizable on this pair. And as you can tell more on the heavies. But yeah, they dope, man. I still like these. I still will rock these. These are head turners. All of these concept Air Max 1s are head turners. People are going to look and be like, even if they think they trash, they're going to look on your feet and be like, damn, what are those? You know what I'm saying? So, um, or what them is. You feel what them is. Uh, uh, but that's it, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. A little quick review of the Air Max uh, One Concept Mellow, guys. Hopefully, I get the far out pair in. Um, I got two a couple of videos coming up. I'm going to do everything I caught this year so far. And I said I was going to be real selective this year. And it was a, it was two shoes, I think, that got me that I'm having to end up selling that I was just wasn't selective as I wanted to be on. And they probably going to go out the door. But y'all wait for that because... Um, I'm just going to show every shoe I copped this year so far. And yeah, let y'all be the judge how selective I was or how selective I was not. You feel me? Um, but anyway, with that being said, I appreciate y'all for watching this vlog. 
Comment below and tell me what you think about it. Hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up there to the moon on them and keep watching my video. That's what I'm here for. Gone.